Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This is your reading for the month of August. It is a general reading, so keep in mind it may not resonate with everyone. It is also a timeless reading. You can watch it whenever and it will still be relevant. And it is not gender specific, so don't get too caught up in male, female, things like that. So let us jump into the reading and see what is lying ahead for you for August. If it doesn't resonate with you, please just watch your moon, Venus and rising signs as well. And whatever doesn't resonate was not meant for you in the first place. So we have here the Four of Pentacles reversed, which is a card that has come up for quite a lot of signs today. It speaks about someone holding on to something and refusing to let go. Could also speak about someone who's very possessive and quite jealous. It could be someone clinging on to you, not wanting to let you go. Or you could be clinging on to another person, not wanting to let the person go. Or you could even be holding on to a job that is no longer serving you, but you are just staying in it for the comfort. I feel like also like a marriage of convenience applies here. So you may not be happily married, but you're still married for convenience sake. Some of you. Okay, two cards want to come out. Knight of Cups reversed and Eight of Swords reversed. So, Knights are normally messengers and the Knight of Cups delivers a love message. But it comes with a feeling of being stuck. Not wanting to know which direction to take. I don't know why, but... In this particular case, I feel like miscommunication applies. The term miscommunication is relevant here. It's like if you're in that marriage of convenience or in that relationship of convenience, I don't feel like this is a new love message coming in. I feel like it's a message that's not received. I feel like someone is trying to communicate with someone, but it's like talking to a brick wall. All right, the words... Are falling on deaf ears. Someone is trying to get through to you or you are trying to get through to someone and the message is just going over their head in the month of August. This could already be the current energy that you're experiencing. Three of Cups in reverse. Now normally when this card is in the upright it speaks about celebration, friendship, social gatherings, it's in reverse, and it's pretty obvious that social gatherings have been put on hold now because of COVID. But the other meaning of this is literally, if we look at the number three, it could be speaking about a three-way relationship. So I feel like some of you, without even being aware of it, because it is in reverse, some of you could be... I don't want to say like it's definite, that's why I'm saying could be. It could be that your partner is seeing someone else on the side or perhaps you're even aware of it or you're suspecting it. You could be suspecting it but you don't have proof, that type of thing. You're suspecting someone of cheating. Even if I don't see the traditional cheating cards here, that's what I'm getting. Right, the chariot reversed which is Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. The chariot is all about movement, progression. I feel like something in your life is staying stuck. You're feeling very stuck, powerless in a certain situation because there's no movement. Could be a job that's going nowhere. You feel like, why the hell am I still in this job? But it's a comfort thing, you see? Ace of Swords, you may have a new idea, like a brainwave kind of thing. Like... This job is no longer serving me. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. And you may even have a new beginning coming in with that Ace of Swords in the month of August. Queen of Cups reversed. 
Someone here is not showing emotion towards someone. Someone's being cold and distant. Someone's withdrawn emotionally from a partner or a connection. Could be you or it could be your person withdrawing from you. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Balance is needed in a certain situation. You're lacking balance. There's some type of an imbalance in your life. I feel like some things you're doing in excess and some things you're not doing at all. You're struggling to find a balance in terms of work life, home life, your relationship, your family, things like that. You're trying to find that balance in the month of August. You're realizing that it is an issue and you're trying to get your priorities straight. King of Pentacles and Four of Swords. So, you could be dealing with an Earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Not necessarily. And you could actually just be taking a break from that person at the moment in August. Time out. Like, you're taking a, a break from them, spending time away from them, having a period of just resting. Wheel of Fortune, divine timing is at play in your life. Something needs to end in order for something else to begin. Could be in a karmic relationship with someone, trying to get out of it because your true partner is actually someone else. Could be in a relationship that's no longer serving you. And all I can say is to just wait it out. Take it one day at a time. And just know that everything is happening at the right time, exactly as it should. There's a reason for everything. As cliche as it sounds, there's a reason for everything. Right, Gemini, I hope that resonated with at least a handful of you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And I hope you guys are staying safe. Bye for now. Keep well.